Lukas Martens just blasted two insane swims at the start of the German Olympic trials. On day one of the meet, Martens clocked a 340.33 in the 400 free. That is a massive best time for him, undercutting his 341.6 from 2022. Martens was flirting with fellow German Paul Biedermann's world record for most of the race, flipping well ahead of Biedermann's world record split at the 200. It's actually not that uncommon for swimmers to be ahead of record pace by quite a bit, as Biedermann heavily negative split his swim. At 2023 Worlds, Sam Short and Ahmed Hafnawi were both out in 149s. But Martins took it to another level in his swim, going out in a 148 low. With 50 meters to go on the back half, Martins was still a ways ahead of world record pace, but Biedemann closed his swim like a freight train, outsplitting Martins by over a second and a half for the world record to live another day. Martins' swim in the 400 makes him the fourth fastest performer in the history of the event and is just 0.26 away from the world record. At the 20 2023 World Championships, Martins placed third behind Sam Short and Ahmed Hafnawi, who both broke 341 for the first time in their careers, in 340.68 and 340.70. Seeing multiple swimmers under 341 in 2023 was very notable. Before then, the last time we saw 340 point anything was over 10 years prior when Soon Young went 340.14 at the London Olympics. Now that Martins is under that mark as well, it should be an interesting battle in Paris. I'm looking forward to the Australian trials to see if anything big happens there. Just last week, Elijah Winnington and Sam Short went 341-41 and 341-64 at the Australian Open Championships, so with some rest for trials, they could show us something crazy. But turning heads in the 400 free wasn't enough for Martins, because on day three, it was time for the 200, where he would make waves once again. Martins managed to slice over six tenths off his personal best and touch the wall in 144.14. That is another monster swim that not only ran ranks Martins number one in the world this year, but also makes him the seventh fastest performer in history. Much like the 400, this has pushed Martins into the medal conversation in what is shaping up to be a potentially loaded Olympic final. Martins absolutely demolished this trials field as well. Danny Schmidt took second over four seconds behind in a 148.61, which is actually a tab slower than what Martins took his 400 free out in. Martins has quickly asserted himself as someone to keep an eye on in the mid-distance races in Paris, and I think it'll be exciting to see if he can go any faster than the times he just went at trials. Will either of Martins' world leading times be topped before Paris? And who are you calling to win both the 200 and 400 freestyles there? Let me know down below.